Now I understand that some things that I might say in this video may be a little bit triggering to you. I get it, I understand, but you know, buckle up because these are seven natural hair trends that we are leaving in 2022. Do better. are 57 years old talking about you still got baby hair let me lay my baby hair what are you talking about okay baby hair all the way down to your eyebrows what ma'am these are full out adult grown hair broken edges are not baby hair now i do recognize the artistry in the baby hair some of this stuff is just art okay the swoop de doops the laid down the gel with the baby hair and the toothbrush and all it is like it's very interesting I will say I've seen them be dazzled, colored. I've seen, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot, okay? But those are not baby hair. And also I'm just, when it gets to the point where you're going out to buy a relaxer so that you can relax your hairline so that you can have baby hair, like what, what, what is it too much? It's, it's too much, it's too much. If your hair naturally lays that way, cool. Do you boo, I think that that's excellent. But sometimes I'm just like, we're doing a lot for a hairstyle. Like that's a lot. Always gonna be in the camp of do you, do what's best for you boo, but you are not safe from the criticism, okay? I'm looking at you, Mabel. I'm looking at you. Number six, oils for hair growth. I feel like, where's my book? I'm looking through the manual of hair growth and I don't see the section that says oil is gonna grow your hair. I don't see it. Where's that? The amount of money that black people, and it's not just the women, it's not just the women. Guys, I see you too. You are not exempt, okay? The amount of companies that have a hair growth oil is astounding. I know there are people who are in my comments telling me, Toya, you should come out with a hair growth oil. Oil didn't grow my hair, genetics did, okay? It just did. We as people can do as much as we can to retain that length. And I am not a no oil, no butter kind of person. I know y'all up in here, I get it. I've tried it. I think it's beneficial and very, like a lot of ways, you know what I mean? But like, when did this notion that oil can grow your hair came about? Now, when I look at a lot of these websites, they'll be like, it's infused with all of these minerals and powders and natural ingredients that are supposed to stimulate your hair. And I'm not saying that it hasn't worked for anyone. I myself have used a hair growth serum and this was after I was having my my child and my my edges and every, you know, it was a, it was a whole thing, okay? But I, that mean I was deficient in something. My baby was sucking, literally sucking my edges away, okay? <laughs> if you have a deficiency, and you are supplementing with some type of product, that's one thing. But like to just blatantly say that oil is going to grow your hair is a lie. Oil doesn't grow your hair. Time, genetics, we can do a lot to retain the length. You know, oil may help retain some length in terms of that malleability that the strands have from, you know, putting it on, but like nothing's ever gonna be like water water like oil and water are literally the two most opposite things and how how are they doing the same how how do they get the same street cred i don't know i just i just don't know these sagas these whole sagas of hair wash routines now listen here okay i i would go easy I'm gonna go easy because I am a content creator and there have been many things I have tried on my channel. And I'm not saying that I can wash my hair and style and do all this stuff in like an hour, especially with my length of hair. It usually takes me maybe like two hours like to wash and style my hair. It's a process. So I think that the notion that anyone can like wash and do their hair in an hour, I think it's a bit flawed, especially for those of us who have like density type four hair and it's long, like, uh, I don't know about that. But I do know you don't need to be doing 50, 11 steps before you even get to the wash routine. Can I get an amen? Amen in the house, say amen. Yes, you guys, 
I don't know why we have to do all of these pre-shampoo treatments with the oils and the conditioners and the serums and the baggies and the all, like why we have to do everything before we even get to the shampoo. Like there are times, and I will admit that I have used conditioner to sort of like loosen up some tangles because I had a wash and go that, if I would have just wet my hair and tried to wash it with shampoo without doing some kind of detangling beforehand, it would have been a problem. So that is a very special routine that I use for a very specific reason. And that's how I feel like hair care should be. Like we should, not be putting, even for one person, right? Like we are all individuals, right? There is not a one size fits all for everybody, okay? And on top of that, it's not a one size fit all for even just me, the same person. Not only will I have to kind of change my routine depending on the result that I want or how I want the process to go, it's going to change over life. My hair that I had when I was a baby coming out the womb, like, hey y'all. Like, I'm here. like that person, that hair is not the same hair that I have today because it's been through some things and it's not going to be the same hair that I have when it's gray. And I'm like, let's lock it up, baby, because I am very excited to have locks eventually. I know, I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming. I'm gonna have those locks, okay? And I wanna be looking like Storm. Ooh, that would be so dope. Can you imagine? Anyway, I digress. There doesn't need to be a bunch of steps before you even get to the shampoo. At the, at the end, wait, at what point? At what point are we recognizing that we're just wasting product? Not using shampoo. You stink. Your hair stinks. I can see the flakes on your shoulder. It's time to wash your hair. Use shampoo, mm -hmm. please, for all of us. I remember when there was a time that I would use shampoo on my scalp, but I wouldn't take it all the way down the strands of my hair because it was so drying. It's going to feel like shampoo. <laughs> it's supposed to get all of the oils and things off of your hair. And I get that there are many varying levels of shampoo. I'm not saying we need to clarify our hair every single time, but like it should feel naked. Yes. Who said that? Who said don't shampoo your hair, your scalp? Like who said that? Okay. And co-wash, a co-wash don't solve everything. What you're doing is you're just putting buildup all over your hair. And I know there's somebody in the comments or somebody in the community saying, I haven't used shampoo in 10 years. And that's the best thing that has ever happened to me. That's the best thing I've ever done. What else are you doing, ma'am? Because here's the thing, okay? I'm not even saying that I have something against not wanting to use shampoo. I'm saying use a cleansing method of some sort. What is it going to be? There are plenty of people with various different kinds of hairstyles and things like that, who, or conditions that they, maybe they can't use an actual shampoo, but like, what are you using? Something, anything. I don't want you to stink. Number three, hair trends. The lengths that we will take in order to grow a half an inch of hair. A half an inch. Inversion method, rice water, onion water, cherry lola, monostat. We were putting coochie cream on our scalps, you guys. And we will do anything that you tell us to do to grow an inch instead of going to the doctor and being like, yo, there's something happening with my hair. Going to a trichologist, going to a dermatologist. If you are having an issue with your hair, like a serious issue, go to a doctor. Do not go to a YouTube specialist. And I'm saying that as a content creator. Don't come in my DMs asking me for doctor's advice. Like I am not a physician. I can teach you how to retain the length that you already have. I can teach you things from my personal experience, but I am not a doctor, okay? If you're experiencing hair loss, fungus on your scalp, go to a doctor. And this is the thing that's so infuriating for me is that especially in America, we've gotten to a point where people would rather go to YouTube than go to the doctor because of the bill. Mm -hmm. We're talking doctor's bills. We never know how much it's gonna be. We're talking hospital bills. We never know. They have the data. They just don't wanna share it with us. So I think that 50% of it really is like our healthcare system is, is in the gutter. 
I, I get that, you know, especially when you go to a specialist, a lot of them aren't even covered by healthcare. So like, <laughs> I get it. But at the end of the day, the amount of money that you probably spend and the amount of time you'll probably spend doing all of these treatments, you probably could have gone to the doctor. Mm -hmm. And if it's that serious to you, go to the doctor. I'm looking at you. Go to the doctor. Number two, deep conditioning overnight. Ooh, I know I just pissed somebody off. I know, I know I did. I know, I, I know there's people in my life that still deep condition overnight. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna call them out, but mm -hmm. yes, yes. It is still a thing. And like my thing is, like I've tried it before. First of all, it's giving mold. It's giving fungus. It's giving, it's giving a scent. It's giving something that like, I don't wanna smell. Like I know we want to hold on to everything that our conditioners are giving us. Like I get it. But like at some point, your hair can't hold anymore. It can't hold anymore like water or product or anything. And I know that you're like, it feels really soft. No, follow the directions. Rinse it out. It's been 10 minutes, 20 minutes, like rinse it out. It's not going to get any softer or better or anything. If there was something that I could recommend for this, it's like, if you really want a deep penetration, get a hair steamer, get a dryer. You know, you could walk around with a cap on your head, maybe an hour max, but like at some point, your hair is like, we've had enough. We've had enough. Release me. Number one, beauty supply stores in our cabinets. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at me. I'm looking at me. I'm looking at my cabinet in my mind. This is my mind. I'm looking and I'm seeing the excessiveness. I'm seeing the product junkie-ism. What is the word? I don't know. I don't know. It's a product junkie. I'm not going to lie. I do give myself a pass because this is literally my job. But like, what's your excuse? <laughs> I can't even take myself serious. No, but like, I, I, being serious, even for myself, which is why you guys don't see me doing like a ton of hair product calls. I have a lot, I have enough. Brands reach out to me all the time asking, can we send you our product? And I, when I'm done with something, I will accept something else. You know, I try to be as responsible as I possibly can, but it is my job. For those of you that it's not, I know that there's a period of time where you're still trying to figure it out, where you're going through the process. It's kind of like a necessary evil. I hate saying that, necessary evil. Ugh. It's kind of a process that many of us go through, right? Where we're just trying to find the right thing. It's just not eh, eh, eh. However, there becomes a point where you found it. You already love that shampoo. That deep conditioner is bomb. You don't need another oil. You're done. Now I, I love trying new things and I'm not saying like stop that exploration. That's why we have products that come out. We like variety and you know, we like to treat ourselves. I get that. But like seven half used shampoos that all do the same exact thing is, is it's a bit much. It's giving junkieism. It's giving, Like I need to go because I'm pissing people off. I already know I am. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, this is all in jest, right? You can do whatever you want. I just want people to be happy at the end of the day. There's quite a few of these that I've tried partaking in. The receipts are on my channel. I get it. You know, there, there does come a point where we do have to really look at things and like come to a true acceptance of where we are and what we have because just like the last video that I posted that was talking about like these companies marketing and kind of pandering to our insecurities, like it, it works so well. Be careful out there. That's all I'm saying. Just be careful out there. I love y'all. Check out my Vlogmas playlist. Check out the video I did with Jen and Nappy Foo. Check out it all, okay? It's okay. You, you still good in my eyes. <laughs>